Hello and welcome. It's Bill Skladowski coming to you live from the home office in Sarasota, Florida with the big question today. What is the one thing that CBD oil won't do for you? Won't do for you. Now, if you're watching this again, I apologize that I had um, a little crash there with my computer early on and I'm trying to kind of pull things back into, into shape here. So um, apologies if you are seeing this for a second time. If you tuned in early and it stopped like halfway through, I had some Wi-Fi issues in the house and the signal died and so the video stopped and I don't know, it's, it's okay. It's all good, it's all good as the kids would say. So we're gonna talk today uh, and we're going to pivot just a little bit uh, from I'd been talking about business home business and promotional things and marketing stuff that you can do. And I'm going to kind of take some of that and build on it as I talk to you about the business that I'm doing and how much it's helping me with other, you know, with side income and all that sort of a thing. And also about the fact the products that I'm, you know, talking about here because there are some of the hottest products out there right now and that is CBD. CBD is a, an oil, an extract from the hemp plant, and we'll talk a lot about that. In fact, we're going to geek out a little bit with science here uh, coming up in just a few minutes. But stay tuned to the end because I've got a really cool little giveaway that I'm going to do, and we'll talk about that. Let me find, oh, there it is. I got to get my, I'm not showing you yet. I'm not showing you yet, but we're going to talk about it. So today, the one thing CBD won't do for you. Wow. Don't you see it like advertised everywhere? Don't you see that it's like being touted as the next great thing? I mean, that you could, you know, I don't know, cures everything, fixes everything, takes care, you know, you put it in your car gas tank and it'll, you know, take off like a rocket. I don't know, something like that, right? So <laughs> none of that is, you know, really, it's all hype, right? No. CBD is one of the most popular products out there nowadays. I see it everywhere being advertised, uh, you know, everything from the local drugstore chains, the Walmarts and the, you know, Walgreens and the CVSs and all that stuff. And I see individual little stores popping up that sell it all just everywhere and online. So actually, <laughs> as crazy as it is out there, there are a lot of well-documented uh, you know, studies that are showing some benefits here. So we want to talk a little bit about that. But in all of that, a lot of people have some concerns, some worries about it because, well, they hear that it's a product that's made from cannabis, so from the hemp plant. Wow. So I'm here to tell you that it is true. CBD won't do one big thing for you. And that one big thing is it won't make you high. It won't because it doesn't have the chemical compound in it that actually goes for the, you know, intoxicating effects in your brain. Okay. We're going to geek out a little bit on the science here. Okay. Studies have shown cannabis from the hemp plant is one of the safest intoxicating plants on planet earth. That means that yes, it will get you high, but it will do it in a manner that doesn't cause you bodily harm. <laughs> you know, it doesn't damage anything in your brain there. Now, you know, why is that? Well, as with a lot of things that make you intoxicated, they're still working on that. <laughs> they really don't know exactly what all goes on in there, but they do know that there are a lot of little receptors, they call them in the brain, that when some little chemical gets in there and acts like a key in a lock, it makes things happen. Sometimes in interesting ways. Okay. So what is it about, you know, cannabis itself? What is that chemical? What is it that makes you have that, you know, intoxicated high, you know, response to it? And that, like most people, I mean, you probably already know that that's THC, which is Delta 9 tetrahydrocannabinol. Did I say that right? I hope so. I have some notes over there on the side that I'm looking at. So I hope you don't mind that occasionally I have to refer to notes because I, I do want to get the science right on this or at least report, you know, what I'm finding to you. All right. So THC is the chemical, the compound in the cannabis plant that actually gets into your brain and causes the intoxicating effects. 
They've known that since the 1940s. It's been studied, and that's what caused, you know, all the legal challenges and all that sort of thing. And, you know, it's just kind of a mess. Some states now are making it legal, some are not. Some have it with, you know, medical exceptions. And it's just, we're right now, a friend of mine described it as kind of like the wild, wild west days of, is it legal, is it not? Well, it depends where you're at, and it depends how you're using it, and it depends, depends, depends when it comes to THC and cannabis and all of that sort of a thing. I live in Florida where it is possible to have a medical marijuana card and an exception so you can buy, you know, uh, uh, commercially farmed uh, cannabis products and have the, the hemp plants, the, the cannabis plants themselves, which you can use in a variety of ways. And I have uh, some friends that do that. Uh, I don't. I've traveled with them to the, you know, medical marijuana store and have some, you know, interesting experiences there and talk to some of the real experts on that. More on that later. So THC is the thing in cannabis that makes you high. Now, there's a lot of other stuff in the hemp plant itself. And THC is not nearly the only ingredient in it that has an impact, an effect on the brain's function itself, okay? CBD is the next big one on that list. Now, CBD, cannabidol, cannabidol <laughs> the second most abundant cannabinoid found in the plant. Okay, so basically there's it's in there and it also has in your brain certain receptors that kind of, you know, look for the chemical or the compounds that are that match up with that and they go together like lock and key and it really has an effect on your brain. So that's where there's a little bit of a, you know, I'm not going to say it's a fine line, but it is kind of a way where one of them can have an effect and the other one can have an effect, but they're different in the way they work. So CBD, as I read it, and as I have done my reading, CBD is indeed psychoactive. It's just not intoxicating. Interesting distinction there, right? In other words, you know, does CBD get you high? No, it does not. Does CBD affect your brain in ways that are still being studied? Yes, it does. But one of the things that we definitely know about CBD is that it, it is not intoxicating. That's the science. <laughs> and it's kind of weird and kind of interesting, and I'm doing a lot of reading on it and all of that stuff. So anyway, in fact, there have been studies that show uh, that both that THC and CBD can have opposite effects on certain brain functions. And I found, didn't find this out. I, I heard about this firsthand when I went to the mar medical marijuana store where I live here in Florida and talked to one of the experts who said that when he, you know, recommends a certain, you know, product that has THC in it to customers, you know, whether they have their medical marijuana card for, for pain or anxiety or all the things that it's used, you know, uh, to, to, uh, to help with, that he will say and tell folks that it's also a good idea to have a good high quality CBD oil on hand so that in case you're feeling a little overly intoxicated or overly, you know, stimulated by the THC that you're taking. You know, maybe you're just now starting out this process and starting down the journey of learning how to use, uh, you know, THC and cannabis products. That he'll tell folks, you know, if you're feeling a little, you know, weirded out by it, <laughs> that's the technical scientific term, right? If you're feeling a little weirded out by it, take the CBD oil because it will have the opposite effect. It will calm down the intoxicating effects of the THC. I didn't know that, but it's super interesting. So anyway, that's the way it works. Now, as for CBD itself, CBD is really getting a ton of attention. And as we mentioned early on in this uh, video, that you see it everywhere now, you see it for sale in places that you would have never thought before, you know, Walmart or Walgreens or CVS, individual little stores that have it. There's a couple of them within a five minute drive of my house. I see it all the time. It's for sale online. It's all kinds of places. CBD has been shown to promote, maintain, and support good health in a lot of different ways. Okay. So what does that mean, Bill? Well, that means it can be helpful with a lot of things that, you know, you might have a challenge with, a problem with. Now, 
I'm not a doctor. I'm not here to prescribe or suggest any medication to you or anything like that. But if you're interested, there's a lot of stuff, a lot of information online that you can find out about that. However, here's one thing I do know for sure. And that is that if you have trouble sleeping, if you, you know, toss and turn awake at night, CBD can be very helpful in getting your body back into a normal, healthy sleep pattern. Okay. And again, we're not, you know, diagnosing any disease out here or anything like that. That's not our job. But there are some really good studies out there that show how CBD can be helpful for these kinds of, you know, eh, little troubles that happen now and then where you just can't get to sleep. So anyway, that brings me to the end of this video and to ask you that if this is something that's interested for, that is that you find interesting, the whole, you know, how to promote, maintain, and support your good health with CBD products, that I've got two things for you. First one is I have put together a list of the top 10 tips to help you get a better night's sleep, okay? And is CBD one of them? Yes, it is, but it's only one of them. There's nine more that are really, really helpful. And in fact, if you look, I think number eight always makes me smile because it's a quote from Master Yoda himself. And if Master Yoda can help me get some sleep, then I'm all for it. That's tip number eight. If you want the list of the top 10 tips for how to get to sleep, just leave me a comment below this uh, video here. Just send me a personal message, okay? Click on the messages thing and send it to me because I always get a bunch of comments and everything. And, you know, sometimes, you know, I, I try to answer all of those. But if there's, you know, if, if you, this is something that you want, you know, we can connect with a direct message and then I can just send it directly to you that way. That'll make it easy. All right. Now, s along with that, here's something that's really important, okay? The company that I, uh, you know, use their products uh, and really love has a, I'm going to cover up the name of it here, uh, the, the, they have a sample pack of their products. They do CBD oil, yes, but they also do some other things like a skincare cream and a pain relief thing that all have CBD infused into them. How cool is that? So here's what I'm going to, now this is about $40 worth, okay? Uh, they have it on a special sale, but I've got some of them, and I'm going to give a few of them away. And here's how we're going to do it. If you would like to get this sample pack, I will send it to you absolutely free, no strings attached. All you got to do is either just ask for the sleep tips, you know, like I said, send a direct message and ask for them, and I'll send them to you, and I'll keep your name and throw it in the, in the hat for a drawing. Okay, and we're going to do the drawing for this uh, after the video on Sunday. Today's already what? Wednesday? Tuesday. Today's Tuesday <laughs> as I record this. Today's Tuesday. So we're going to do this a few times. Okay, so I'm going to mention this a few times. Now, once you've asked for the tips, you're in the drawing. But here's the big fun part. Okay, you can increase your odds of uh, winning this by also sharing this video to friends or colleagues or whatever that you think might get some benefit out of it. How cool is that? So two things. If you're interested, ask for the tips, you know, just send me the direct message. That's cool. Doesn't matter if you do it while I'm on live now, or if you do it you know, as you're watching the replay, that's fine. Same thing with the sharing. Once you've seen the video and you want to help your friends with some good information, share the video to them and I'll see that it's been shared and I will also put your name in the hat Again, so you'll double your chances. And by the way, there's going to be a video every day, so you'll have a chance to share every day's video now through Sunday, increasing your chances of winning. How cool is that? There you go. All right, that's enough for today. So once again, last but not least, if you're interested in the tips on how to sleep better, leave me a direct message. Also share this video with friends and colleagues who you think it might be helpful to. You'll get entered in our drawing twice. We're going to do again another video tomorrow, so I look forward to talking to you then. But thanks for joining me. I really do appreciate it, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.